हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री लेक्चर पेपर थ्री क्लासिकल मेथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर द कैलिब्रेशन ऑफ वॉल्यूमेट्रिक ग्लासवेयर्स एंड द सेकेंड रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर टाइट्रीमेट्री इज स्टैंडर्ड सोल्यूशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्टैंडर्ड सोल्यूशन नो What do you mean by standard solution? The solution whose concentration is accurately known is called as standard solution. Then the next term comes is standardization. The process of determining the accurate concentration or exact concentration of a solution is called as standardization. Now see we need to know or when we weigh suppose the substance and dissolve it to a de definite volume it it is not all the times that you will get the same concentration or whatever concentration is needed as per the weight is given no it is not so sometimes you get the concentration as a dilute concentration or sometimes it becomes concentrated so we need to know what a, what is primary so uh, standard and what is secondary standard because of this now primary standard solution is a solution which when weighed when the substance is weighed and dissolved to a dilute uh, dissolved to a definite volume it gives the concentration as per the weight dissolved that is called as the primary standard now see these primary standard solution are used then used to determine the concentration of other solution now see we need to know then the what are the requirements for a substance to serve as a primary standard so there are certain um, qualifications which are required for a substance to serve as a primary standard we will see one by one first of all first one is the substance should be hundred percent pure second one is it should be stable and should not react with components of other components of environment then third one is it should be stable and should retain the concentration for a longer period of time then fourth one it should not be hygroscopic nor it should be deliquescent now here the word hygroscopic means it should not uh, the tendency to absorb water from the atmosphere is called as are called as hygroscopic substance the substance which absorbs water from the atmosphere so the substance should not absorb water from the atmosphere because it should not be hygroscopic then what do you mean by deliquescent deliquescent means uh, the tendency to liquefy so the substance uh, solid substance should not liquefy at that temperature all right then the fifth one is it should be easily available 
and should and at low cost you can say next is to minimize titration error it should be of high molecular weight why because for even very dilute solution you will require large quantity of the substance all right now the next thing is what are all the primary standard in what type of titration they are used So for example for acid base titration for acid base titration succinic acid borax or sodium carbonate can be used as a standard solution primary standard solution the next is your precipitation titration in precipitation you can always use agno3 that is called as silver nitrate and kcl that is potassium chloride third one is complexometric titration where primary standard is zinc sulfate or say magnesium carbonate can be used then fourth one is redox titration where k2cr2o7 that is potassium dichromate or say ferrous ammonium sulfate can be used as primary standard but see all the time we cannot find the substance with all meeting all the requirements of the primary standard and so in order to solve our problem we need to compromise at some places so what is to be done is we need to compromise the other properties except the concentration remaining same and the stability remaining same so certain substance we can always find for which the concentration remains same for a longer period of time such substances are called as secondary standard substance or secondary standard will not meet all the requirements of primary standard they will not meet 
the requirement all the requirements of primary standard but what will happen they will meet the certain very very required properties like stability and the concentration that is the concentration should remain same for the longer period of time such standards are called as secondary standard now see secondary standards are easily available now their concentration is not calculated as per the weight their calculation their uh, concentration is calculated as per the volume required to react with it all right so now secondary standard we need to know for different type of titrations say for acid base titration all the acids can be used as secondary standard for example hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 sulfuric acid hno3 nitric acid then for complexometric titration we have EDTA that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid and its sodium salt is used then third one we have redox titration where we can use potassium chromate that is K2CrO4 or sodium thiosulfate that is Na2S2O3 can be used as a uh, secondary standard now see suppose we are using hcl as a secondary standard now first of all we need to standardize naoh with it and which uh, naoh is sodium hydroxide which in turn can be used to determine the uh, you can say or standardize the other things all right so this is the case or sorry for HCl you need succinic acid now succinic acid is treated with the NaOH solution now NaOH in turn is treated with HCl titrated with HCl so as to get the correct normality or correct uh, concentration all right so this is the case how we can use the standard solutions that is the primary and the secondary standard solution now in my next lecture we will see the calculations in the titrimetry thank you